Welcome to our 13th video on word roots illustrated. The theme for this video is the Latin root meant which means defect or fault and various words in English vocabulary as seen hanging on the tree branches can be related to this root. So let's start. The first word is the root itself. The word meant is used as a verb which most commonly means to repair something faulty or broken or damaged. For example, to mend a torn cloth or to mend a broken toy. Though it can also mean to recover from an illness or to heal. Like in this sentence, foot injuries are difficult to mend but I hope that I am on the mend now. In a related meaning, mend is used in the sense of improvement in an unpleasant situation. For example, Corals could get mended by discussing things clearly. In fact, the word meant is used in a very popular idiom, on the meant, in this meaning. If something is on the meant, it is improving in general. For example, we can say, the couple had filed for divorce earlier, but the breach between them is on the mend now. The fourth meaning of this word is slightly different. We can use meant in a phrase such as, Mend the fire to mean to add fuel to it, which helps it from getting extinguished. The next words are ament and ement. These are synonyms, that is they mean almost the same, but there are fine distinctions in their meaning. Ament and ement both are used as verb and mean to improve by correcting or freeing from error. Amend is the general term used of any such correction in detail to amend spelling, punctuation, grammar for instance. The dictionary meaning of the word amend is to make minor changes to a piece of text or even to a piece of legislation and such changes are referred to as amendments. As an example, sometimes the laws that were applicable to the earlier generations lose their vitality for instance, Section 377 of the IPC dealing with LGBT rights and need to be revisited and amended for the contemporary society. These changes, if and when introduced, would come into force through amendments to the Constitution. On the other hand, amend usually applies to the correction of a text in the process of editing or preparing for publication. It implies improvement in the sense of greater accuracy. An example of usage is, being an editor for a reputed publishing house, he often collates manuscripts and immense texts. These emendations are necessary to make the story easier to follow and to suit the reader's taste. If we add an S to the word amend, we get the word amends, which has an entirely different meaning. Typically used in the phrase to make amends for something, the word means to compensate or make up for a wrongdoing. For instance, he tried to make amends for the rude way he spoke to his neighbor by presenting her a bouquet of flowers and apologizing to her. Next word is mendicant which means a beggar. Well, as to how the word is related to the word root, the word originated from menda meaning fault or defect to mendicus, which originally meant crippled or someone with physical defect and since these people must beg for a living, the meaning evolved to that of a beggar, one who is very poor. An example sentence would be, she ignored the mendicant who stood by her car at the traffic lights as she knew well that for most of these beggars, begging is a habit born out of indolence and yet for some, this life of mendicancy is a compulsion for they are so poor, sometimes crippled and incapable of earning their livelihood. So we can see here that mendicancy is a related word, again used as a noun. And our last word based on this root is mendacious. Since menda means fault and ears is a suffix meaning characterized by or full of, so one who engages in faulty or defective behavior and is totally given to lying is referred to as a mendacious person. The word is used as an adjective to describe someone who is not telling the truth or is lying. 
An example sentence would be, As a politician, he had to maintain a mendacious diplomacy in his conduct and in his speeches, especially at the time of elections. The related noun is mendacity, which is a noun meaning untruthfulness. For example, in the famous Italian tale of Pinocchio, the mendacity of Pinocchio is easily detected as his nose gets elongated whenever he lies. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.